Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we're playing Starbase. So uh, it's been long ago since I wanted to play this. The game was um, uh, initially scheduled uh, for, uh, I don't know, one year ago or so and uh, now uh, finally it's released. Uh, early access. Uh, but still I wanted to play this game a long time ago and yeah, now we have the opportunity. Just, um, I think just yesterday was, um, it was available uh, in early access. So let's uh, select a character name. Where should we start? Uh, origin 1, high population, maybe somewhere that doesn't have so much people. Okay, so I think everything is medium population. Let's go for the 12. Welcome to Starbase. Complete the tutorial for rewards to help you get started. So this game um, is uh, similar to other games. It's open world, of course, crafting. And uh, yeah, in, in some sense, it's very similar to ha games that we've played before. Find the demolition job site, okay? Like... Um, Space Engineers, for example, but this game is online, so um, it doesn't really have like this um, offline uh, single player, so it's an online multiplayer game. And okay, it's still still in um, early access, so one thing about the game is that you can do um, you can create many things like uh, ships and devices. <clears throat> also, it has a programming um, interface. Uh, it's called the YOLO language. And yeah, we want to, to see how this works. Okay, find the demolitions. Okay, get the boss saw. There's a boss saw. Where is the boss saw? Ah, here's the boss saw. Ah, so here we are going to, yes, basically demolish stuff. So how can we get uh, with F? We pick it up. And we um, cut with both buttons. Uh, destroy the target, cost, cost Cuts the target loose. Okay. Cut the ship works with smaller pieces. Look for weak area. Smaller chunks are collected automatically. <laughs> this is like ship breaker, right? This other game. Okay. Let's start here. Okay, that's one. This is Yeah, well this is fun. <laughs> ship breaker. Okay, one thing that I've seen uh, from other players is that getting your first ship it's um, it takes some grinding right so this is something that I uh, we have to to see uh, if this is still the case and how much grinding you have to do Yes, and, and the thing is that the community, you have like this uh, persistent world, right? Well, that should do it. Demolish the uh, Vasama Vanet. Okay, de demolish the pincer. Now it's a new ship. Okay, S I have to... Ah, yes, I have to exit the, the spawn area. Yeah, but it, it um, at the beginning the game was a bit slow, 
and this is i suppose that this is because uh, it has so many things to load so one one of the correct characteristics of this game is the destructible like everything is destructible everything you can see here that these these pieces have um, sustained some damage and you can see how det detailed this damage is it's like a low um, or should I say high resolution um, damage so this sets this game apart from other games right where you don't have some so many destructible parts like I consider I consider um, for example space engineers to be destructible uh, but the destruction is handled through shaders uh, that um, yes deform the, the shape of the of of the of the blocks but this thing is like um, yeah it's pixelated somehow pixelated damage I don't know if that term is um, describing well what I want to say. Um, yes, and as I was saying, you 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 become part of a persistent uh, universe, a persistent world with um, that you share with other players, and this is also something that sets this game apart like for example compared to space engineers so it's interesting what um, I want to see w um, what this experiment is about like um, where can this type of game lead us I always been fascinated by open world games and persistent universes or worlds. Oh, this is going to <laughs> But you see the, all the detail that is uh, um, that that this uh, ship for example has all these uh, bolts and and um beams metal beams and so so many things that i think they are actual parts that you can uh, build or you can use to build um, your own ship so also like this the dismantling activity uh, is already teaching us something about how this uh, how to build uh, because for an engineer uh, to learn how to build begins uh, destroying right so I I cannot ah but I can jump let's see if I can just get yes that's what I wanted to do yeah now that was it yes now I have to get out of the spawn area and now we're going to demolish the empire's path oh this is a cool ship isn't it oh well, it's a basic some basic design but yeah i like it so we can start here So if you like a building, uh, yeah, this this game I think is for you. If you enjoy the the building aspect of uh, all these games, otherwise, if you enjoy like this PvP um, sort of um, I don't know elite dangerous style. I also think this game is for you. I'm not so much into the PvP stuff, but I I can 
I can um, understand that you'll have fun like building something that is destructible as this and yeah <laughs> using it in, in a fight with other ships that are similarly uh, built So I, when this game was, uh, when the first trailers came out of this game, um, what we saw is um, these robots, your avatar and the avatars of all the players are robots. <coughs> and you, um, you would see these robots in space uh, building stuff. Also, we saw asteroids and you could make asteroid mining. But recently I've seen that also there are some planets that you can actually go to. Planets or moon? Probably they are moons, not planets. But this is also remarkable that you, you can go to like one of these. You, we are orbiting a gas giant. Well, we see it from here, I think, I guess. Is this blue planet here? Okay, that was it. Now we are going to mining. So, I don't know if we should, like, leave the tool. I don't know how to leave the tool. Oh, we took another one. Okay. <laughs> we, we go with the tool. Okay, and now, um, let's see, how do we get there? I think we have to... Ah, this to toll the boots, okay. No, okay, that's okay. That's some... Okay, we have to go there, but there's like this uh, barrier. We went through this um, door, I guess. Yes, we have to go back. Okay, they run pretty um, fast. Ah, look. It, I lost the, the, the tool. So there's another player. And another one, Gecko. Oh, nice. So you, you encounter other players in the world, of course, um, but that's, that's nice. So there's somebody else training here. Let's see what this is about. So we have to get the pickaxe and smash the rock. Connect to the resource bridge. Uh-huh. What? Ah, I see. Okay. Use the pickaxe to break asteroids. Use the button to break up the asteroid into smaller pieces to crush the piece. Okay. Toggle headlamp N. Crush the inner material into collectible nuggets. The remaining parts of the asteroid's outer shell are automatically collected by the collector. Okay. And we have or headlight here okay that's okay that's satisfying destroying some rock oh but still whoa more we need to break them into smaller pieces Ah, there we are. This is the hammer. It has uh, the... The other he head is like a hammer. And I activate this with a... Uh, with the right mouse button. Okay. Oh, you miss body. There we go. So now... 
We have to leave the spawn area. Well, I like this tool. It's, uh, yeah, it has some realism into it. It has like this piercing part and uh, how it's called this um, bludgeon part. Okay. Perspective here is a little bit misleading. Yeah, there we go. And what is this? Okay. More. I guess that's it. Oops. That's a little bit difficult. There we go. So we have to exit the area again uh -huh. and now we have more more or give me the ore okay so i hope you guys are um are getting like a good idea of um, what this game is about well this is uh, like a small part but it's um really uh, important mechanics we are learning here so in in space engineers the mining is realistic but it's done with this power tool mainly and here we have like this pickaxe stuff. Yeah, probably there's also uh, the possibility to use some power tool. I'm, I don't know, but um, it would make sense. Yes, but, but this tool looks like something you would buy in a warehouse, definitely. Okay, now this is difficult. Oh, there we go. And yet another asteroid. Okay, so again, as with um, with Elite Dangerous and other open world games, you choose like your your career or your path. So, or you you can yes you you choose it and you can be like a, a miner. Um, or you could. Um, Yes, be some kind of pirate, I guess, or trader, or a combination of those things. And everything is... Um, is being persisted in this world so i guess the, the experiment i think the experiment that all these open world uh, persistent universe games are trying to 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 do is to see what emerging gameplay um, Uh, comes about of all this community of players um, being together collaborating or fighting competing I should say so this is also something remarkable about for example uh, EVE Online that somehow they managed to create this uh, 
significant economy going on in this um, virtual world that is EVE Online. Um, what I've seen from... Uh, well, Space Engineers, you can play it uh, multiplayer, but I, my experience is uh, was not very good. So it had a lot of uh, performance issues. I think we're done. Go to the repair. Ah, we can repair as well. Nice. Well, let's go and repair. Yeah, so we lose the tool once we are out. So, and you can see like the, the, the sheer size of this uh, colony, right? Or this uh, space station. And yeah, I think you, you as you play the game, um, you will you will be acquiring the resources necessary to establish yourself for example in in one corner of your beginning space station i guess yes yeah, so th this is what we want to 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 test this is what we want to see what what are the possibilities with this game So now we are going to repair something here. Connect the resource to uh, connect to the resource bridge. Okay. So this is like um, a magical thing. Or a <laughs> magical. It's like a tether, right? Um, yes. And you pr view blueprints in with what with you. Open the universal tool with you. The blueprints for the shipwreck can be viewed in the blueprint tab. Okay. Ah, nice. Uh huh. And then, uh, use repair tool on broken parts. So the blueprints dis displays details about the ship. Broken parts can be highlighted with the universal tool. Toggle highlight on in the blueprint tab. Material and requirements. Oh, I didn't. Okay. So this is very nice here. I can. Ah, this. Okay, this is the way I. So frame plates, devices, cables, pipes, miscellaneous object plate okay blueprint material and data so what should we repair there is some things highlighted here i guess this is one of them yeah that's that's repaired ah there you can see the material bastion. Okay, we're consuming material. And I guess this tether that connects us uh, to the... That we did before, this connection, is just giving me resources from some other place. That's what I understand. Ah, okay, yes, there there is a list of objects in the... In the no, what is it? Okay. So repairing is uh, pretty straightforward. It's just to click. What happens here? I'm not sure. Ah, there. You can see in the list, uh, in the on the left, you can see that as I repair, objects will disappear from there. So I guess I just have to go through them. Mm -hmm. If I don't have like the correct orientation, it will complain. Uh, okay. There. So I... Oh, there's... Okay, there. I have to be pointing in the right direction. Uh, 
I guess it's some distance stuff, right? There. So we have something here as well. So this is uh, what you would do, for example, if you are, um, if you sustain damage in a battle or you collided with some asteroid. Um, so basically, this is what you would do. So the, the um, yes, compare, for example, I always compare with other games, um, the experience, and for example, in Space Engineers, it's like. Um, Yes, if you if you lose a, a, a part of the ship, you have to build it again. So now we have to go to where to the ship terminal. Lower module, okay. I've been rewarded. Yes, if you lose a part in 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 space engineers. You will have to, to, to build the part again. Like, um, yes. Build a new part and place it. Here you have like a blueprint. It's always there. And you just have to... If a part is entirely missing. I think you can just recreate it. Okay. Thank you for your hard work. Okay, and the repair tool is with me still. For some reason, okay. Interact, ship spawn. Ah, okay. Lavrum module. Ship spawn. Spawn the lavrum module ship, okay. So, uh, and I have to confirm it here. Spawn. Ah, nice. Well, I, I like uh, very much this... Um, this feature that... Um, where you have in a game a, a screen and you can interact with the, with the screen. Um, without leaving the 3D... Um, the 3D or... First person 3D view, right? So, let's... Oh, wait, wait. There we go. And now we're going to pilot. So, leave the platform safely by using the smaller thruster by pressing... Uh, yes, this is my German, <laughs> German keyboard. Now, open up. Yeah, move the ship vertically or by pulling the lever. Okay, so I think this is, um, where are these keys exactly? No. Ah, or I can leave the planet by, by pressing move the ship and, or by pulling the lever. Ah, we can pull levers, so that's nice. Ah, that goes forward. Okay. But I want to go... This is to go up or down, right? Right. Oh, that's very nice. Okay, pitch the ship up and down. U or V, okay. Ah, W, S. W and S. Okay. Jaw is Q and E. And roll is A and D. Okay, that's, yes, that's pretty straightforward. Toggle the cruise control by pressing cruise button on the dashboard. Ah, okay, the cruise 
mode allows the ship to maintain the constant velocity okay but i would like to um to i would like my ship to be higher up and then uh where's the cruise uh, there's a cruise button ah here this one right cruise Oh, but it's not moving. Uh, the ship uses power from a generator. Press the generator button to turn on the generator. This is the generator here. Okay. I think that's on. Okay. Okay, edit and save custom blind sets in the blind view with V. Well, see it. Okay. Uh, uh huh. Current binos set automatic battery. Okay, there's a lot of things here. Okay, but I I cannot get the ship to. Come on. It's not going forward. Ah, this is for the jaw, okay. But what I see is that... Ah, okay, this is with this. Ah, there we go. Oops. Okay. <laughs> now we are going somewhere. Now we're going... So and where do we have to... Ah, we have... The ship will automatically despawn. Ah, but we have to get somewhere, right? The other spawn, okay. Ship's not gonna be okay. So, but but it's showing me some place that we have to go, right? What is the speed though? I don't know. Okay, it tells me to go to that place. Ships cannot be damaged near stations. Safe sun flying deep into the asteroid belt can be dangerous. Connect your backpack to the ship's resources port when mining. Okay, got that. And then I can just jaw here a little bit. So we are all the way. Well, but this is a really far, far away place. So here you can see, take a, like, um, get an idea of the size of the world. This is uh, the, the gas giant here. I'm not sure what these clouds are. But we are heading somewhere uh, 15 kilometers away we are from the from the point where they want us to go uh, i don't know what is this okay but you get the, the idea all these all these levers all these indicators and all these buttons you can craft them or i mean you you can they are they are they are pieces that you can put into your own custom cockpit so this is this is one of the things that um yeah for people like me for example that like to build like to program like engineering these are the things that um make this game attractive so we really um like this kind of stuff uh but if you are the the player that likes uh, shooting things up I think you can also have fun with this game. Um, yeah, but you, this combination of um, this elite type open world with all this uh, voxel and uh, crafting 
it's really um, interesting it's a, it's a good combination mm, but this is far away so we are going to some some sort of uh, asteroid field that's an asteroid field and probably we will be doing some mining so you can see all the, the asteroids around near the safe zone okay i don't i don't know okay yes it, there's a safe zone and i guess that if you fly um far enough from the station then you can be shot at basically So it depends, I think this depends on what type of community you end up with. <laughs> you always find the, like the, the type that likes to shoot down other players or you find the type that likes to help others out. and then there is this uh, emerging gameplay right like the the players themselves they decide what game is it <laughs> that they want to play because there are so many variables in the game that players have some uh, sort of, of control over them oh i think that's it oh i guess i over so yes ah look at that i i'm seeing here ah and you can see here look the origin 12 is my my station right but i can see other stations as well like origin 11 so you in theory you could uh, travel to other like to other bases right that's very cool and what is that down there it looks like some sort of structure oh that's curious it's like a torus ah could it be like a, a portal of some sort or a gate okay i don't know it's it's pointing two meters away okay but i think we are we are here so leave your pilot seat to mine in the belt by interacting with the seat okay make sure your ship is stationary okay yes i think it's stationary hopefully and then i hit f and i can interact ah this is what it was pointing at okay i see so this is the tether that we will establish here <laughs> i was looking like at that point and then what uh, your backpack will transfer the collected material into the ship cargo crates backpack must connect to the ship's resources port view the collected material in your inventory with i okay that's i oh cool okay and that's Ah, look at that. I have the pickaxe. But what is... Um, now I have, like, the building tool. Yes, let's take out the building tool. I want the pickaxe, right? Yeah, that's more like it. Because we're going to mine here. So, yeah. So, which asteroid is closest? Um... I think everything is far away. I think we should either get... I think we should get closer to, to an asteroid. Because here, everything is so far away. Okay, let's let's do that because... 
No way I am. Yeah, but you saw that I I left for a brief time the 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 the, the cockpit and look at this I'm I'm so far away now. Oh, careful. Yes, we need to get to some asteroid. Let's try to get to that one, I guess. Or this one. Yes, that looks a little bit closer. I think that's better. Ah, I think I was all the time activating the the backwards uh, yeah thruster. That was weird. Okay, so I think I can leave now. Okay, and this is something I can mine. And I'm tethered. Yes, I'm tethered. Oh. Okay, that was weird. Okay, now we can mine. Yeah. There we go. And we are collecting some ice here. So that's good because with ice we can I guess we can get some fuel perhaps. And yeah, and with this um like robot avatar, what they managed to do is to to get out the survival part. So this is not a survival game. Because yeah, we have like these robots. They would need energy, I guess. But you don't need to eat and drink. So for some, this uh, this aspect is not um, fun. Or they're not after a survival game. I like survival games. But um, also I like building. So for people who are focused on the building part this uh, survival could, could get in the way so that's um, a reason why to and look we got a what is this voc vocarium i don't know what mineral is that okay but you get you get the sense of the game, right? Uh, now you, you got some um, good idea of how the game is. So what we haven't covered so far is the building part. Like how do you build uh, and program devices. But I think we will uh, leave this for, a, for another video. Because this one is already um, long. But... I think we, we we managed to give a sense of the of how the game is played or, or what's the gameplay or what's the, the mechanic uh, the main mechanics of the game and imagine that you could build um, a ship like this on your own um, I think it's, 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 it's great it's awesome and you, later on you can build like a really um, big bridge like a big bridge for a for a ship and a, a big cruiser type of ship or frigate i don't know you you name it okay so uh we will leave it here and uh, i hope you enjoyed the video uh check the game out um it's uh, now on early access on steam starbase and hope to see you in the next one this is cyber settler signing off